Alright guys, hello, welcome back to the final match. Maybe I'll actually use the microphone. I'm not sure if it's working or not. But, uh, let's see how it goes. Um, I think he's going to be here with the group and then add his cart. So I decided to take the Rat Ogre again because I figured having a group of seven really hard hitters up top here could maybe turn the battle for me. Um, I don't know. I might be able to use my mic the whole time. We'll see. My wife might yell at me. It is a nice balmy 45 degrees today and sunny. I should be outside. We're about to get another foot plus of snow. It'll be our third foot snow event in two weeks, two to three weeks. It's going to be great. I'm shoveling the driveway of old snow to try to get ready for the new snow so I can continue to get out of my driveway. And since I'm a nurse, it's expected I drive through treacherous conditions to come to work. So I'm looking forward to that. I will die for my patients, either b between driving to work or from COVID. But it's okay, everyone respects us. <laughs> so it's rewarding. Anyway, good times. Good times in healthcare. Um. I wonder if I'll put, like, lambs to slaughter here. So far we have one of the homeless guys. I can't remember their names anymore. What's wrong with me? Zealot. That's what they're called. They're called zealots. Not homeless people. I'm pretty sure, yeah, this group's, like, up here, right? Yeah, there's a zealot up there. Um... keep my leadership safe. I mean, I, I do not, like, I imagine some people are going to go, like, full initiative teams, like we've seen, just to get that initial advantage. Not something I've ever cared much for in this game, so. I, it's hard, I, I mean, you get a really good advantage, like, you see that zealot up here, right? So, if you had an archer, and you had like a hundred plus initiative, you just shoot the fuck out of my leader. You know, you could have like three fast range units. So if you're the mercs, you got like, lad's got talent marksman, two other ones. Maybe even start with daggers, swap out to a bow, walk over here and just fucking murder somebody. So I think that I'm the first one to play this, so there's only a few matches left, so if anyone's watching, know that that could be you. Conversely, they could start here, walk right onto this corner and just fucking destroy you, so. I'm not sure what's happening in the sewers, honestly. It's they're very confusing down there, but I imagine there's a scenario where you could walk over and meet them too. I honestly don't know. We don't usually use this map because it's kind of unfair, as you're about to see. Just like Raven's Barrack. Everyone loves a good turn one game over. It's like playing chess and you can just take the queen turn one. Some people can recover because they're very good chess players. All right, they have a very good matchup. Not that chess pieces change, but uh, Skaven are horrid against witch hunters. I think if Paranoia could have better designed a warband to destroy Skaven, it would be them. All they have to do to kill me is put on heavy armor and take amulets because I cannot bypass their armor. And I cannot hurt them with magic. I cannot strip their armor with Sorcerer's Curse because they have amulets. Uh, and then if you just kill my bl Black Skaven, this ogre, I'm going to have a hard time. Um, also, Armor of Terror, as it's now called, since it turns everyone into a vampire, is their new default spell. So uh, this rats all just fail every single fucking terror check. So I had to go with full Pendants of Courage on the entire team. 
You can see from my morale, every unit had max leadership to begin with, and they still fail every terror test. Um, so it doesn't leave me a lot of options as far as weapons and gear and whatever. Uh, so if you take any magic casters, you can just nuke the fuck out of my team. Which is frustrating. Now, witch hunters have wolves and they have um, warrior priests, which now have a very strong uh, magic spell now. I'll probably put these fellas up here since um, they have one meter more movement. So we'll sacrifice this young f fella here and uh, this one. And I have the the rune that just makes me pass right away because I don't want to fail. Failure is not an option. Uh, I have to figure out how the fuck to get up there now. I think there's steps over here. Somewhere? Well, we can't dick around too much, so... Oh, what have I done already? I'm fucking up already. This turn timer. Is a thing. Daredevil, can he even get upstairs? I don't know. We're about to find out. It would appear we can. So I think we'll take out the archer because he's a threat to my leader. And we'll just fuck him up, turn one. The one thing this guy does do is crit, so good for him. Wow, that was a big roll. That allows me to get on this guy now. And lock him down. He is a crit build, so... Um kudos to him oh, I can't go up the steps that way oh, I can go this way though this is so convoluted I don't want this guy appears to be a melee resist unit and I don't want him that was some lucky rolls I don't want him getting on my ogre so we're gonna engage him against the wall and we're gonna just Hang out, because we'll probably never be able to hit each other. All right, let's take a second to actually look, because I'm just going to enter the dodge stance. So we're going to come up here and try to kill him. This is what I'm talking about, getting a quick three-turn three unit advantage. Um, he's got a guy right there, and he has his leadership team here. So he's got some heroes in the sewer. So I, I think this is a pretty ideal start for me. Um, definitely melee resistance. Look at that, 72. Uh, no magic resistance. But I don't really have any magic damage dealers. Uh, this guy can flee? Interesting. So he wants him on the rat ogre, which is what I just tried to prevent. I mean, it looked like he could not get away, but this is Mordheim, our good buggy friend of a game. <laughs> I don't know. They've been working on this mod. If they could just make it where no units could ever flee, or you could always flee, like that'd be cool. Otherwise, you get these weird, awkward situations where it's like, can he flee? Can he not flee? Um, if he keeps attacking me, he's going to trigger my Elicrity runes, which he will not enjoy that. And this may have triggered one. It's a 90% chance. Not the best hit chance here. 
but we'll take it. Because I have counterattack, so I probably got two more red pills back. I have an 80% now of getting red pills back after he attacked. Which is how this fellow works. I mean, that's not ideal, but I do have Enshrouding Mists, which will give me a good melee hit chance. So we should be able to peel him off of him with Order as well. I believe I have Mastery Order and Enshrouding Mist. So we'll see how it goes. Might be trying to bring up uh, this other melee resist. We'll see. Probably doesn't have the move. be stuck it's usually best to just enter a stance right here because I have red pills to counter with you don't usually want to be the first one attacking and that's what Quist does Quist knows what's up so well done and probably a chunky melee resist yeah 70% so pretty typical for your standard zealot I'll check for stone. I haven't really done that yet. Place your beacon there to get further ahead here. He might not make it. Um, guess we could black hunger. Doesn't look like we're going to make it. So I may as well just apply this. Put my makeup on. All right, protect him and get this hit chance up. Unfortunately, we have one order because that mist is so fucking expensive, and then we missed anyway. So that's good. Um, did I do enshrouding mists or did I do warp mists? Did I just fuck myself here? Fuck. That is why. That would be why I have done the wrong spell. <laughs> oh, God. Fucking Skaven. I hate them. All right, let's go take a plus one OP to spellcasting debuff. Objectives updated. Okay, it's to aim and shooting. All right, let's stun ourselves. No? Okay. God, I did the wrong spell. That's why you gotta love the timer. Makes you rush every fucking move. Would we have hit anyway? Yeah, we would have, so sucks. It's really going to hurt me. I'm going to have to delay next turn now. It's a bit of a bitch. I think early kill on the marksman was definitely the choice. He could have sniped down on my uh, leader here. This guy, pistols don't have good range. 
It's gonna it's gonna take a lot for him to kind of get into range here. And if he does move up like this, I should be able to lock him down. Like this fellow right here will gladly lock him down. If I'd got the right cloud up, he'd be a lot harder to shoot here. So he'd probably be pretty much impossible to shoot. So that mistake's gonna hurt a bit. Really big mistake. He'd basically have horrid, because I'm engaged, and the miss would have given me eight. It would have been like 0% chance to hit. It would have been really bad. I think that's stripped his magic resistance. Um, I would love to get my melee resist rat right on this guy. Oh, man. Yeah, he's running out of time himself. Order, interesting. Not going to do a lot of damage. I love that I threw warp miss on myself. So Liquidy's charged up. I should be able to get some good counterattacks on the flagellant. Definitely not going to be as um, difficult to hit. Okay, I got two red pills. So my counterattack didn't proc, which sucks, because I have 80%, so I failed that. Uh, we can only take one consumable this game, so I actually loaded up on a lot of healing potions, so I'll actually be able to heal Mr. Pinky and the brain. Pinky and the brain, brain, brain. Oh, he's got a LGT... All right, so he's a key target immediately now. These two are just key targets because he could take me out. No no problem. Uh, he's going to find he's running out of r blue pills, though, I think. And these guys can just jump on him immediately. We still have Lord Huron. I think there's steps over here, too. Uh, Oof, interesting. Going after him. Um, I mean, you only have X amount of blue pills, so that makes sense. It does make sense. I mean, you're not going to get every shot off, so use the red pills while you have them. And just bad luck there. Which I'll need. Um, these guys are kind of fucked now. He went all in. Uh, Mr. Whiskers, if you've watched my previous matches, he digs in like a tick. That man is relentless. That rat is relentless. Um, yeah, it was, indeed. what he used there. Alright, we should have a good counterattack. Let's stun him right here. Okay, let's roll a 99. That's usually a good good uh, good sign of a desync when you get a 99 bullshit roll. Oh, we did not proc swift counter again. So we are 0 for 2 on that. So good for him. It's really showing its uh, chops here. Only a 20% chance, and we rolled it twice. So. Unless we've just desynced. I actually have one, and could be what's happening. That 99 is always very suspicious. He's probably like, why aren't you counterattacking? May have just desynced already. All, like, counterattacks seem to throw the game off. No, he's just chatting. That's amazing that he didn't proc any. It's kind of amazing. I'm starting to wonder, did I forget to put it on him? I mean, I think I did. You can see this rat ogre is made out of toilet paper, just like literally every Skaven unit.
Oh, he's found me. I have no idea where he's at. <laughs> I just know there's tunnels down here. Pretty sure these guys can, like, come up over here somewhere. Maybe there's a bridge or ramp. I don't know where his guys might show up at. I have no idea, honestly. I think there's a ramp up over here somewhere. He might just show up out of, out of nowhere, like over here. These guys might just shoot out the hole. But as he said, I think the die is cast on this one. I mean, did I not take swift counter? I'm really starting to wonder. I'm pretty sure I, that's what I picked. Like, he was supposed to just cause all kinds of damage to you while you killed him. Not miss every counter. Which he's managed to do. Especially with the warp mists. 99 sucked. I, I probably had a really good chance at critting him. His crit chance is like 50%. So, that's a big part of his staying alive. Is crit countering you and then you can't keep hitting him. Um, I can enter, I believe, Frenzy and use Black Hunger next turn. Which he was unable to use because he had to move up. Either way, the Zealot's not going to do much damage on me. And we can lock down his ranged units now. Very easily. Like He's going to get locked down. This guy's going to go in from behind. He'll go in this way. We'll get a Jaw Strike off. And he won't even be able to order. Then we have to worry about this guy. He's going to be a bit of an issue. Hopefully Snuggle Bunny can get over there. But he is blocking the path. Snuggles can try to get on Roger. I don't know. I'm going to miss my assassin here, I think. Here comes Big Bopper. Exhaustion. Going where he needs to go. Maybe out now. I feel like his own unit's blocking the way, though. I would imagine. I think he can cross that bridge. Templar's not known for their mobility. Yeah, he's going to try to stop my Black Skaven from getting up here. Hey, with an ambush. Interesting. I mean, I have zero range units. Let's see. It does give you some range resistance. Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't think Lord Huron will be able to get where I want him. We'll see what's this way as far as steps. I'd really like to get him on Arnold. I think the poor dead marksman. <laughs> Look at his head. Looking rough. Oh, this will hurt. So he's got two heroes down here, which is uh, such a big win for us. If I could just stall down here, it does amazing things for my chances to win. <laughs> we'll try to get a touch of palsy on him. Inner web of steel immediately. He's probably got strong blow, though. All these guys seem to have... Yeah, there it is. On demand. They all have this. Yeah, he's... Look at him. Murdered. Oh, man. Wolf priests. Every warband has them, because they're so good. Sadly, we cannot have doom weavers. We were all taking necromancers, though. I don't care if you take my OP. I right, gotta burn some red pills. Start heading north. Uh, I guess I touched that. Look how close I am, guys. 
really, really close to that trap. This is probably one too, so let's go a mile away. The mobility is pretty rough here. This is kind of rough, man. I'm trying to get to anywhere. Golly. There's zero point in getting on that unit, so. Okay, so I can't disengage, but he easily could, so. That's a win. Buried me. At least we hit him. These units are very tanky. Witch hunters have been s s massively buffed in, in the mod. Massively. It's insane. Flagellants gained armor. They all get turned into vampires. Um, I'm not sure I can get up there now. Like th this guy's combat circle is pla perfectly placed to frustrate the fuck out of me. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I need to go like over to those stairs. This is pretty annoying. But he seemed to use a st set of stairs over there. I am not even near that. These are really annoying. Um, it's very frustrating for me. I mean, I saw it sitting there. Fuck Objectives off, game. Updated. This has not been the best... Well, honestly, this has felt like a slow turn for me. A really slow build-up. I mean, I killed a marksman. That's hardly, like, life-changing. buddy. Hang in there. It's going to blast right through this parry stance anyway. Hit him in the face. The more we can stall down here, the better. A new round has started. Let's try to get the right spell out this time. Let's try to actually do everything right. We're supposed to quick cast. And shrouding mist. And we're gonna fail to cast this. Like what the fuck game? Can you pull it back a little? Like, uh, what, what is this targeting? Oh my god, targeting in this game is fucking cancer. What is he shooting for? Oh my god, I this is why I don't want a timer, guys. It's pure cancer. I don't even think that got on the other guy, so thanks with the timer, guys. It's really fucking exciting. It's really fun. Huh? 
And then he dodges. This fucking game. So over it. <laughs> two for two, forty percent. Failed twenty percent. Like we're doing really good. This is so dumb. Dumb as fuck, dude. This is why I, I haven't streamed in a while. The anger is fucking real. Oh my lord. Hey, we hit something. Holy fuck. I actually crit it, too. This guy is probably not even in the goddamn mists, so. Yeah, he's not, as you can see. I don't even know if my guy is in the mists. Wrong way, you dumb fuck rat. Oh my god, I was going to put a healing drought on him, and I should have. But now I can't. He's probably going to be able to disengage in some bullshit way. Look forward to it. <coughs> no, that's not why paranoia. It's it's just like there should never be a timer. Like I get it, people shouldn't take five minute turns, but Shouldn't be, you should be able to like hit the target or the floor or anything. It's just stupid. Oh, but he can disengage again. Okay. The bugs in this game just get f so infuriating after a while, if you guys can't tell. So he's locking down the hero. Hopefully we can actually hit him. No. Nope. Another 40 miss. The others were 60 misses. So. One for three. Not that it matter. This guy's not in the fucking uh, cloud, so. He doesn't even need to attack me. There's zero point to attacking. Just keep shooting him with the marksman. And you're winning. You could maybe get close to killing him with the marksman, honestly. I don't even know if this guy's in, in shrouding mist, like I said, so. I mean, this might hurt. Oh, I got my 98. There we go. Ah, this might hurt. Proc a Lickrity and then turn around and fuck him up. Alright, now fuck him up. Now it's 83. I don't even know what's happening. I guess because the shield is gone. But now he can shoot him very easily. This actually might be very bad for me. <sighs> this This map is borked. I'd pick those up, but we all know I'm going to get, like, plus one OP to attacks, right? Is 
Is this the guy ambushing? Oh, fuck it. Hit him. He's going to hurt me, but hopefully I can hurt him. I'm going to lose this engagement. And he has all his OP, so there's like zero reason to keep attacking. This guy, he's fucking dead. So. I hate the Skaven. I really do. I have not had any fun playing them whatsoever. This archer's about to fuck me up. He might kill my rat ogre. I doubt he's in the entrouding mist. He's a large target. He's no longer engaged. He's just going to pump him full of lead here. He's going to die. So, I've killed two henchmen. I've killed two henchmen, though, guys. So, good for me. Five. So this is going to be his to win. He's going to kill my Black Skaven, so I'll have one unit that actually does damage left. So The power of the Skaven. So strong. Their strength is in rapidly dying. That's what they are best at. And no longer... They can't hit shit. They can't... Hit It's great. You can use Enshrouding Mist, but it lasts all of one turn. So that's really strong. Such a, such a good skill. Now the Templar is going to murder him. Lose that nine times. They do suck. Lad's got talent. Warp guards are our best heroes, which is just utterly depressing. I mean, he was able to position his units perfectly where I can't do fuck all. Which uh, is very frustrating. It's part of why I hate this. It's like playing in Raven Barrack all over again. It's a map that's designed to be good for Order War Bands with ranged and magic. And, and you're seeing it. He's peppering me full of guns. And he's got melee resistance. And he's got armor. And Skaven can't do shit about that. I mean, I might be able to still clear the north here, the, the upper upper section. Crit's done, which, knowing me, that's probably what will happen. Yeah, see, I told you there'd be extra damage. Uh, he's going to do 270 damage. Maybe not that much, but he's definitely going to kill me, I think. I have one more counterattack. Okay, that's what we needed, a 100. I have a lot more counterattack. Oh, I have swift counter. I forgot that. So this guy's actually proccing swift counter. So 
Okay, this kind of could have determined the battle here. You can see all my OP just keep refilling. He's supposed to enter Web of Steel, though, and not be hit in the head every time. Interesting. Don't don't fail. Yeah, 80%. This guy has, like, max leadership. So. Whew. Man, I usually fail the 20s. Max leadership. Like, all of his stuff went to leadership. That was kind of a big miss and a big not failing a 20% for once. The reason they're we're doing well is because, I mean, I'm good at the game. <laughs> I mean, you know it sounds like bragging, but I mean, it's, I mean, it's true. I mean, I could have made any warband kind of function. Doesn't mean it hasn't been insanely frustrating. They just have a lot missing. I don't know. Like vanilla, the weapons haven't changed. They always had the worst weapons. They have the spear, the mace, and the sword, and a dagger. Um, fighting claws can go on like two units, three units. I don't know. One that would actually fucking use it. Maybe two if you consider the assassin. If you want your units to die even faster, for whatever reason. Like, if I had Fighting Claws out against that Templar, I would have lost 10% armor absorption. Maybe I'm dead, you know? Keep in mind, he missed an attack, but... That would have been, like, 40 more damage I took. 50, you know? So, I mean... Plus, you can get shot so easily with Claws versus a shield. So, it's just... They're just really awkward. And Sorcerer's Curse is just really hard to apply now. And bless with filth. I mean, we've talked about that constantly. And shrouding mist, at least, is going to last two turns now. But it's brutal. I mean, I admit I fucked up my first turn. I should have done in shrouding mist, and I should have quick casted. I could have had two orders. I have not used this team since it was designed, and then it was kind of obvious I was fucking up. Um, we're going to hammer this Wolf Priest with everything we have. I'm sure he has healing pots, but um, we're going to do hopefully more than 180 of damage. Because we're going to switch to Great Weapons and Halberd of Perforation. Because these guys are dead next turn anyway. So maybe just start rocking the Wolf Priest. Okay. Uh, we can kind of get up the steps now. I, that's cool. He moved. And that was actually one of the best things he could have done for me. It really opens me up to all kind of assault here. Namely, this fella. He dodged. Good God. How many 40% dodges does he have? Uh, four now. The answer would be four. He has four of them. So asked and answered. I think I can disengage? Yeah. Uh, this guy has to go up there and kill the Templar. Yeah, tell me about it. Again, supposedly Skaven have movement, right? But you can see I like have no blue pills left to do a lot of the things I want to do. I can at least enter Black Hunger this time. And I had entered Daredevil last turn. Okay, that's a big kill. And his uh, archer's looking to be in trouble. I really... That guy was, like, in such a good spot. I don't think he should have moved him. 
is causing me big trouble. Oh shit, we might be able to kill this guy. If we land all of them, we have a good chance. Yeah. I'll take that. If we land all of them, that's the big, the big ifs always, isn't it? Grab these while we can. I'm not greedy enough to go get those yet. I know he's free, but the thing with melee resist units, they don't do any damage. So this is how you kill a marksman, even though it's alive. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he could. Do something with his mouth. I don't know. They're safe and sorry. I think if he looks back and watches this, moving that zealot was kind of a big deal. Okay. Just gotta land the last one. Oh shit. Oh shit. He got ice on me. Oh shit. <laughs> I forgot. I think strong blow regular attack would have been the way there. Damn. Alright. Um, I think we delay and put the black scaven on somebody. I mean, not a big deal. I mean, I'll try to get that guy. Yeah, the more this guy lives here, the better. Let's wait for the animations to end. Oh, that sucks. I think he's in a stance. Yeah, he might have a counterattack now. You probably left one OP. Yeah, that's dumb. I would have liked to get the jaw strike because obviously he can order. This guy might be able to get on my leader. He could maybe come kill the Black Skaven too. Um, he has that great sword. Uh, it's probably what he's looking at. Look at this, like, hunched over little guy there. It's kind of how I feel playing the Skaven. Yeah, I think that's the easy choice, is to try to kill this guy. Uh, three regular attacks might get it. Keep in mind, I do have all those red pills from the quick counter, so I'm going to hopefully hurt this guy. Again, he is melee resist. So I might not land him at all. He could easily kill me, though. I think I only had, like, 60 HP left. That's going to hurt. Let's get a good crit, crit counter right here. Now we're going to at least injure him a bit. Nope, we're going to miss. We're going to fail another 20 percenter. It's actually what I thought would happen. It's legit. So there, black Skaven dead. Toilet paper Skaven falls to the ground to wipe someone's ass in his future life. Because that's about all they're good for, is wiping ass. So I have one unit left that can do damage. So let's hope he's up to the task. The good news is this man is not wearing a shield, and I could probably kill him. So I will try to kill him. Um, and then he was kind enough to engage me for easy orders. Um... Yeah, interesting. Let's run into another trap for the 17th time. Oh, there's a way down. Objectives updated. Can we order from here? No. 
Um, can we? I'm gonna run out of orders. I gotta keep in mind. They cost blue pill now. God damn it! These f this fucking targeting in this game is pure trash. Every time. Fucking hate it. Oh my god. It is easily the best hero, yeah. Well, at least he can blow up here. 28% resistance. Bam. Get fucked. I mean, this is our only way to increase our damage for Skaven. This is literally the only way, so. Oh, why don't you have exhaustion? I mean, I can't. I can't afford it. It's not in the build. Skaven don't get mastery exhaustion anymore either. It takes 14, 15 fucking toughness. So he can't have it. So don't ask. I could take meditation, admittedly. But again, he's a little uh, starved in the, st in the skill category. So he could not order him. You could have failed that. That would have been nice. Because he's probably going to be really fucking hard to hit with a shield now. Sword and shield. Watch my rats miss everything. Interesting. He went with the, I want to try to hit somebody, not, I don't want to be hit. I think the sword and shield is a good way with him now. That black hunger is hard to use, man. It really is. And it doesn't boost it that much. Can't believe this... Wolf Priest is alive. So close. <laughs> wow, he's had two big misses now. I think this guy's fucked anyway, but. He had three, he's had two. Obviously you can just shoot him down. I don't have shields out anymore, so that guy back there is just gonna shoot me now. Make it a lot easier for him. Oh, I don't know why, he should just shoot him. And then the the Wolf Priest can just rape my rat. I think both those guys are dead. But it's obvious all three of these guys are dead too, so. We did win the upstairs battle. We lost an impressive and a hero to do it. Hang in there, Whiskers. He is crushing the 40s. He has some 95 misses, but boy is he crushing the 40s. Look at that, 12, 32, 1, 18. <laughs> I think I had a dodge, luckily. Oh my god, 26? Bro, you're landing every hit. You got an 18, a 12, a 32, a 1, and a 26. Good luck. Oh. Damn, he ad rushed. Okay then. Wow. That's big. Yeah, you gotta shoot this guy now. I honestly might run with my black scaven. Never mind. <laughs> I get the healing. You know that guy's got a healing pot. How did these other guys not have healing pots to use on the wolf? Like literally all the war order warbands take or <laughs> healing pots. I don't know what happened there. It's like a glitch in the matrix. Maybe leaving this. No, he had to get his axe out to do the damage. But leaving this guy with a shield up would have been the right call. Hitting twice and then entering web. Damn, that ad rush got him. How does he have Web of Steel? Maybe they're not actually melee units. And he's just 
Like, haha, gotcha. Okay, 23, not the best dodge. I think we can take him out now. Okay, that's a big one. He used a crimson shade, right? This guy full health. No, so that's what we'll do. Yeah. I don't know. Will he? I would get the fuck out of here. I'm just gonna try to get this stone. Objectives. Hopefully I'm not clicking too fast. I think the, the outcomes become apparent. Oh yeah, I made his morale too low. Whoops. I don't know why he's not routing. This is literally the only thing that they're good at. It's these pseudo fucking and then we get the crit to kill him. That's funny. These pseudo like um Pseudo Wudos. Um, cult units, you know? They're like wannabe cult units with Daredevil and Black Hunger and Frenzy, and but then they use the spear. I don't know why he's not routing. Objectives updated. Well, guys, I tried to introduce all kinds of different units. Um, hopefully you guys were entertained. It's always a good time hearing me cuss and curse. Oh, he delayed, so there is no route check. I got Max Stone. I did not kill his leader. I don't know why he's... Maybe because it's the last <laughs> last game of the tournament. He's like, fuck it. Let's just play. This is the last game. I think I went, uh, I guess, technically 10 and 2. I, I resigned a game against Slavier out of raging f anger and um, yeah I don't know what to say about that and then Rudelbert beat me on the Raven Barracks which <laughs> yeah I don't even know he had max initiative and my warband wasn't quite ready for that I don't know what else to do here The game's over. In spite of all my rage, we were able to pull it off. Objectives I'm still just ratting. Okay, yeah, everyone knows that pumpkin. That should be my, like, definitely my going out song. That smashing pumpkins. Objectives despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Because that's how they feel. Skaven feel very much caged. And they certainly cause a lot of rage. All alone? Is he gonna do it? He has no fear. For mortal men. Hang in there, little buddy. I mean, I don't know why he's not routing again. I get to have the brain acting. Didn't he take some weird zeal, like, thing that debuffed him? Yeah, minus magic resistance. 
Not that I'm going to do anything with that. Hey, I could target it, guys. Feels good. I don't know. Will this break his stance? I'm not going to delay long enough to get to the warp guard. So let's just break his stance. He'll enter it again, I guess, but... That's what Enshrouding Mist is supposed to do, allow me to actually hit targets. Does Hold Ground boost dodge, too? I honestly can't. I think there's a bug with that, by the way, Paranoia. It's... it's um, where's my guy? Dodge and parry. It says 20, but it only gives 15. So you see that? I can't remember if I reported that to you or not. How do you, oh, he's mastery sidestep. That's right. Finally missed a 40. We did it. Fuck it. I don't know if I'll live that long. I don't know why he hasn't routed. I think he just wants to keep having fun. I have enjoyed Whiskers. I think he's kind of been one of my better henchmen. How many red pills does he have? He maybe has that dodge shield on? Just like I had the empowering shield. I actually had the empowering shield on the Black Skaven. And um, the quick counter, but it was a build I wanted to try. It never really popped off, honestly. I mean, you saw the Black Skaven recharge his red pills a bit there, but he didn't have the armor to survive. And uh, He's supposed to be kind of got corpse flesh from the Necromancer. That's where the hold ground's supposed to come in, too, to give me really good parry chances so I can do some empowerings plus quick counters. But I was never able to put it all together with the weird deployments during this tournament. In fact, hold ground mastery only gives 15 is obviously not great either for a mastery level skill. It's pretty rough. It's like gain three agility. And then what is it? Is that three weapon skill? Is that what? Does weapon skill get 5% parry now? Or four? I don't know. Should you get the point? Let's see if I'll dodge some of these, too. Does that remove Enshrouding Mists? Very interesting to see. So did he land another one? He's landed two! He has landed every sub-40 hit on this poor bastard. It's insane. <laughs> Is he like seven? He's like eight out of nine. Okay, now he's only 80%. Okay, now we're, what, up again? He's like 9 for 12 on these? It's insane. I think he's had three misses total. Nuts. The orders were pointless, obviously, because he was going to enter sidestep again. He's just having fun with the build. It is. It does look fun. I think it is like, I can't remember the dodge version, but there's a dodge version that has 80% chance to give OP on dodges. And then if you have swift counter, you can see where you just counterattack all day. I think that's uh, an area where people haven't explored much yet. Uh, obviously, they don't really work great on these deployments where you have to, like, use all your blue pills running somewhere. All right, bud. It's your time to shine. What? The Daredevil? Yeah, Daredevil's gone. Does he have high dodge chance? 125 is pretty high.
Let's see what his o OP looks like. So he has n no red pills. Wow, 10 dodge? Is that it? Damn. Glad's got talent warp guard is our best unit. <laughs> Easily. Like I have 75% armor. Decent damage. I can still bypass dodge the way this guy's built. It's actually insane. Yeah, may as well. This guy uh, has Shield of Iron, so he doesn't have the quick counter, swift counter build. He had to take Lad's Got Talent, obviously. Uh, what's shocking is this fellow down here maybe survived. That is kind of shocking. And a boy catnip. I have no idea what's causing fear on me, but... Save yourself, Catnip. My hero. You took on a fucking wolf priest and lived about it. To tell the day. Tale. Well. Assuming we get an order in. A new I don't know why we want started. it. So you can see the warp mists are already gone. And the new patch, that's been increased to two turns, as it always should have been. And Mr. Whiskers surviving to the bitter end as well. All right, held that one. and downs of more time so what can we say I mean I did I was what 10 and 2 on the tournament really only lost I would say I could have beat Slavier I was just raging because of some snafu in the rules I vetoed warrior priests and then he took a warrior priest but then supposedly it was a leader so it was okay and I was like what <laughs> and I was just like I don't want to play this match it's cool I I made my whole war band based around there not being a warrior priest, which means I didn't take pendants of courage. If if armor of terror wasn't such a horrid fucking change in the mod, then it maybe wouldn't even been that big a deal. Well, I wouldn't have had to switch everyone to pendants of courage, and I would have taken different units, you know. So anyway, I, I had like no armor bypass because I'm like, not that we have anyway, but even less. Because I'm like, oh, there's no warrior priest. So anyway, and then Raven Barracks, I just got any jumped and on choke points by Mercs. That was always going to be a loss. So otherwise, I think we did well. I don't think we took advantage of any, like this was a close to this would you would call this like a Skaven deployment. I don't think this helped me in any way. Uh, I think it's kind of a misnomer that Skaven can like jump on people with like Haunter and Darkness and things. I mean, you can, but you can't. They can if you build for it, but any warband can. Um, if you go max any and stuff. But uh, they're not good at killing things. So when the counter attacks start coming, they just melt. Um, Lad's got talent. Warp guards with Daredevil, Frenzy, Heavy Armor. I think they can take 15 accuracy for weak spot. I think that's what that guy had. Definitely their best build. Definitely my MVP. My Necromancer, probably my MVP. He's not even a Skaven. Uh, you can see the Rat Ogre. He died yesterday and today, so he doesn't survive long. He slaps you around a bit and then dies. Um, so he's like a shittier spawn. Here's the fella. So he does have weak spot. He can get 15 accuracy and 20 weapon skill, which is just kind of insane, actually. He still has uh, 8 movement because he can get armor proficient. 
Daredevil, Black Hunger, and he's, what did he have, 115 dodge bypass? I think his leader had 125, and we were down to a 10% dodge chance with his spear and everything. Uh, he did have Sorcerer's, did I Sorcerer's Curse him? I don't think I did. So that would have made it like zero. And I didn't wither him. Wither him's trash anyway. It's been buffed, I think, luckily. It's so bad. So, yeah, easily like the best Skaven unit, which is just actually depressing. Like 35% armor, or you could have 65%. 320 HP, 300 HP. I mean, 51 to 54 damage. 51 to 54 damage, because they both had to get Daredevil. Wh like, at what point? Like, literally the only thing he does better is Perfect Killer. Um, now, he had swift counter. Maybe if he would have been able to counterattack, he could have shined a little brighter. Um, with the hold ground, he was supposed to web of steel and then swift counter and stuff. But I was, I, I used so much blue pills as trying to get somewhere and then black hungering that it just can't happen <laughs> for him. Um, did this guy have swift counter and it just never procced? Yeah, I just had horrible luck. So that was great. He could have maybe survived. I did a few things differently, but look at that HP pull. That's it. <laughs> so bad. Because you basically have to take Lucidity. I mean, obviously you can play the game with the Guidance, but you saw how Blue Pill starved my whole team was anyway, and it just gets so annoying after a while to remember to Guidance this guy that I just like, fuck it, Lucidity. So I could have taken Constitution and maybe got to like 600 plus. Maybe it would have survived then, right? I don't know. Could have survived that archer onslaught, but he's just meant to hit sort of hard, but not hard at all because he has zero armor bypass, like literally zero. So his only way of doing them are crits, which I guess it's only 40%. Yeah, so not the greatest. Um, Again, Whiskers, I, I, f I feel like he was my best performing. This guy in many matches, he was tanking like... Uh, Blood letters early on when we had blood letters. This guy was easily my best henchman. This guy could lock down some shit all day. So um, he doesn't take defensive stance. He takes sidestep because he, he, it's a second layer of protection. Once uh, defensive, his melee resistance wears off, he at least has really high percent dodge sidesteps to rely on. Plus the faint. Faint's like the better version of defensive stance. Like, it gives you an active red pill version of defensive stance. I've decided I like that more. Uh, and you can make even better versions of this guy on other teams. Like, you could place that with uh, Zinch Warding or something that gives 20% magic resistance. You could be immune to all alones. Like, you know, you can make a Dark Soul version or something. Obviously, they don't get this. It'd be a little softer here, maybe, but I'm sure the sisters have a version. That's just as effective, if not more so. Um, and I wanted him to get places to lock units down. So obviously he wasn't meant to kill anything. He, his jaw strike came in handy. He was supposed to kind of run onto mages. This is where he's good too, nine movement with meditation. So you can get on a mage and jaw strike him. Um, I did have the generic guys. I don't know if I ever reviewed these guys before the tournament. I don't think I did because I didn't want everyone to see what I was doing. This was the new leader came out. Again, Sorcerer's Curse, Warp Lightning for if you want to do zero damage. Really, the mists are where he was supposed to function, and then ordering, and then maybe getting a Sorcerer's Curse on a soft target. Someone without magic resistance. Um, and then try to order around. I should have, again, I, I forgot the build a bit, honestly. I was supposed to quick cast, then use the correct mist, and then do three two orders so to try to get these cheaper because they're 4 OP, which is why it's so brutal with the Ashen. Uh, and then the hold ground, not as good as it could be since the bug. It's only 15%. I knew that during testing. I took it anyway. I mean, there's something else I could have thrown in there. I was considering, like, one of the Courage skills. But uh, it's so awkward to try to use these skills in the heat of combat, too, especially on these split deployments. I used it a couple times, I think. But... Uh, this guy was fun. I brought him a few times. He was meant to just tank all day. Like, look at this guy. Like, walking out the door at 70%. So if you use a Mandrake root and do the Necromancer, they couldn't really come out at the same time. 
but you know if you're generically playing, you can put corpse flesh. This guy's at 90%. Let alone ignore pain. I mean, he could ignore pain in Mandrake Root and be at 90%. Problem is, he he's he <laughs> doesn't hit hard at all. But he's like a heavy armor tank that's supposed to use mastery touch of palsy. He can lure to cause extra damage, but he's also got massive magic resistance. So he's he, you can't kill him with magic either. You just have to hit this guy over and over. So he was kind of fun. I got to use him a few times, um, and he looks cool. <laughs> he has innervation, like the shitty version of the sisters. I don't know what else you could put on there. There's not much you can do. Maybe luck, if you really want. I don't know. Kind of a pointless weapon. Uh, and this guy was fun. He got out there a lot. People enjoyed him, maybe. His targets were anyone that didn't have armor. Basically, he's the king of breaking those uh, novices or flagellants or anyone with like soft armor and dodge. He gave no shits. Um, but he's very awkward to build because you have to use quick recovery to try to get to the 15. Uh, zero survivability. If you get on this guy, he goes down. I think he has yeah, steel. There's a I think I tried to make him a slightly with the empowering. It didn't really work much with him either. Um, I don't know. It's fun to use him. It's always nice to have another melee unit out there on the team. Um, yeah, I used this guy like twice maybe. He had the mastery armor break. He's just a raw tank. Just wanted to try something a little different. And then the... I never used that one. He was supposed to come out with this... Um, with this guy, actually, but he was vetoed in the last match. But he had mastery battle plan. He was supposed to recharge him. And he also had the basic hold ground. But he got vetoed, so I never took him. So this is the one everyone saw over and over. This is the puppet master. Uh, and he does... He, I went raw damage with him. And people learned, holy shit, Kitten Paws Necromancer's terrifying and probably his best unit. That's not a Blackscaven or... Lad's got talent marks as far as damage, you know. So um, everyone started taking amulets, and he kind of fell off a bit. But he could do some good stuff with initiative, jumping, and then just nuking units until he, you know, failed his cast and stunned himself and things like that. But picking up the stones, it's such a good passive. I think it was nerfed on the next patch because it is kind of really strong. Gives him a lot of casting chances. And then I did bring the melee resistance. This is my early guy. You saw him a lot early in the tournament. Then again, people figured figured it out. Uh, this is the grown-up version, so I think he has more s casting. But he was basically just warp lightning the fuck out of everybody. And he went with all casting stuff. And he did his job early on, but then everyone realized just take amulets against Skaven. And then his necromancer and Ashen can't do shit. So I had to adapt. And I had these guys planned but they they were not that functional half built so um now i could finally kind of bring him here at the last six matches fully online and i brought this guy against bubs and i believe he was in a other match just recently he's fun um melee resistance look at that <laughs> so again he doesn't do anything except lock down and impressive i knew bubs was using a maiden and then you proceed to demit i think he like failed four 15 percent rolls in a roll and then died <laughs> or didn't even cat it was uh it was a good time for him so he couldn't even do that very well he locked someone else down in a different tournament though was it paranoia i think paranoia i played and he fought uh he fought valiantly in that he would have gone onto the maiden towards the end there but we were able to get the win before he had to re-maneuver but uh yeah, again, it's the same concept. You rely on sidestep instead of defensive stance. So I think feint plus sidestep, only costing four skill points is way better than a six skill point defensive stance. I think this just gives you so much more protection. You can enter careful, careful approach while in combat to give you more range resistance. And of course, if he's really worried about archers, you can throw in shrouding mist on yourself every single fucking turn. But the big thing's gaze of the horn rat. If you're gonna make a melee resistance guy, I think this is what you want these two skills. To protect yourself or help allies hitting the target, 
or to take OP away, even more tankiness. And he was supposed to work in tandem with this guy to take away uh, 4 OP. Don't know if I really got that working in combat at the same time on the same unit, but that was the idea. So that's kind of the warband. Um, I don't know. Skaven. They're all right. There's a few things I'll give report and feedback on the official on the Discord, but I've hammered Bless with Filth and how bad that's been. It's really hard to not have Bless with Filth on your team because that's where your extra damage comes from. So I guess Mastery is 12.5. I was thinking a basic does 7.5 on average. But I tried this in warm-up battles and... It just wasn't working at all. It was so pointless. Delayed damage is bad damage to begin with because you can heal it with pots and all kinds of stuff. and You can remove it with antidotes and the unit's still alive smashing you in the face. So Blessed with Filth is pretty much unusable. Wither is unusable. It's been buffed. So uh, reduce, uh, Actually, uh, I think the only thing that was buffed was the, is this right, two and four? I always thought it was one and three and then one meter, but then it's one meter and two meter now. Original is three and six, so, I mean, it's not that great. If this was four and two meters, it's a little better, but I don't think you'll be using that much anyway. Uh, Musk of Courage, I mean, it's, great in theory, but good luck getting your whole team to come into a massive circle where you can cast that on them. If this was ranged, it might be better. It would definitely be better. You might actually take it every now and again. But five meters, clump up, and then cast this? Like, that just doesn't happen on so many deployments. It's just so awkward. Which is why no one takes it. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. And then I would have loved to have used, like, Weeping Blades. Um, there just wasn't ever really a chance for them. In theory, they do decent damage. I mean, that's not amazing. It's 20. Uh, and again, you're not bypassing any armor, so you're doing a delayed 20 damage if you land the hit and bypass things, which these don't have bypass like the spear does. So uh, Paranoia is asking why we don't use them. They just, and then you're prone to ranged attacks. I mean, they're just awkward as fuck to use. So, I tried. I made builds. I tried it. It just wasn't working. Fighting Claws, you swap to if you want to try to kill something, just like anyone does with a Great Axe. That's literally all they're for, which he would have had. I think I did that once or twice during the tournament. Like, if the unit's going to die anyway, may as well whip them out. And then it doesn't do that much greater damage anyway. I don't know. It's It's just awkward to use. If you're going to use orders, you want to switch those out, but it never really had a chance to, because everyone knew to focus this guy down. Everyone killed him as quickly as they can. Um, so that's my recap. Thanks for watching. The tournament's over for me. We'll see. It was a close tournament. If Order or Chaos won the day, um, I did everything I could. So uh, thanks to all the competitors and everybody, and we'll see what happens next. Maybe I've been thinking about doing Battle of Behemoth 3 with some tweaks again. Uh, maybe introducing some minor changes uh, where you have to use your alternate hero or leader, forcing you to do that, or you have to use uh, like a support uh, non-faction hero or something. I've been thinking of different ways to tweak that a little bit, too. Um, but we'll see. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.